carb care seems to be something that's gone on the back burner for, for a little while and doesn't seem to be covered in any great deal anywhere that I've looked. Uh, it's something that's very, very personal to me, the care of carp, and should be for everybody. The joy they gave us, uh, that him and his friends, and we should look after him and his friends once he gets back into the water. Uh, something that I've held very dear to my heart, certainly all through my carp fishing career. There's also the equipment that we're using and how much that equipment can transmit diseases from lake to lake, endangering carp not only in the lake you've come from, but the ones where you're going. Uh, and thirdly, and quite importantly actually uh, in some cases, uh, stopping your gear smelling of fish once you get home. Uh, the last thing you want is your wife to tell you to sell it, that's for sure. But top of the pile for me is looking after the carp on the bank and care for it. Now, I have with me today Mick Barnes, uh, and he is going to explain to us about carp care products that are available. Mick, where are you from and what products have we got? Morning, Chile. Uh, I work for a company called Guard Pro. Uh, it's an international biocidal company. Uh, which is uh, predominantly arranged to do biosecurity uh, from home, commercial businesses, leisure, basically everything and everything in between. Roger that. And what products have we got available for well, us? The products, as you know, I used to work for uh, tackle companies throughout the industry and I could never actually get hold of a, a decent product which could actually work and it told me it worked. Uh, I looked all over the place, uh, I tried for several years to bring out my own, uh, I failed miserably. However, uh, the company I'm working for now, they've got an ideal product and that's what I'm here with. Right, okay. And you say about durability, I mean let's start with the care of the fish on the bank. Um, once you've got him on a bank, treating you know, wounds, obviously the hook hold itself uh, and scales lifting. What have we got there? Right. What's on the market at the moment is there's several offerings. One what may, most people recommend, recommend at the moment is a koi product called Propolis. Propolis is naturally occurring uh, and it's a mild antiseptic. The slight problem with the Propolis is it doesn't work under 13 degrees and if you have a look on their website they tell you that it should be used three to four times over a week period above 13 degrees to make sure that it works properly. Well the best will in the world unless you're, there's something wrong with you you're never going to catch the same carp three to four times during the same week so you can you can use it. Uh, the other offerings which are on the market basically you don't know what's in them full stop it doesn't tell you what's in them you don't know what's in them uh, and consequently you could be doing it using yourself any harm or you could be doing the fish harm you don't know I'm not saying they will but you don't know and they turn your fingers green and they, they dye the fish green and blue and whatever uh, so I'd they don't fulfil what I, I believe is a fish care product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, and, and another uh, a point uh, from that is a lot of these products, as soon as the fish is back in the water, it's washed off completely, isn't it, from the fish? Well, propolis actually forms a skin once it gets wet, uh, which is what people want. However, the problem with that being is all the pathogens are still in the wound with a seal over the top of it so they can't escape. None can get in, but none can escape. And the others, I don't know about them. Uh, the product which I've got, uh, it kills all pathogens. Uh, and after a certain period of time, 15, 20 seconds, uh, it forms a barrier, which means that it continues to work which it can work for up to seven days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives protection it to gives that wound. It gives protection, yeah. Uh, the wound is completely clear. It gives a bit of protection and it gives the carp the best chance of actually surviving. Yeah, I mean, that sounds absolutely fantastic. Moving on, Mick. Um, <clears throat> carrying those pathogens and bugs and all the rest of it from water to water. 
uh, it's obviously a danger. Yes. And how can we uh, get around it? Pathogens which can be transferred in wet nets, on the soles of your boots, anything which keeps the uh, environment wet can be transferred from fishery to fishery. Uh, a lot of fisheries now are basically giving either landing nets, keep nets and mats so you get them at the fishery so you can transfer from fishery to fishery or they're actually using a net dip which uh, means that you dip your nets, leave it for a while and then you can use them nets and they're not going to transfer anything. Uh, there's several products on the market which do the net dip. Uh, ours is friendly to uh, the nets, it doesn't it doesn't damage any of the nets, it's not an acid, anything yeah. like that. It is, you're able to put your hands in it, you're able to put the nets in it. It kills 100% wrong. It kills 99.9999% of the pathogens. Yeah, you yeah. can't say 100% because you don't never no, know. No, no. Uh, but it kills, for want of a better word, the majority of the pathogens and it kills them 15, 20 seconds. I mean, it sounds to me like probably the safest product to rain. Uh, and, and we want to be as safe as we possibly can. Yeah, you need to be as safe. I'm not saying it's the only product on the market, but I believe it's the only product on the market what gives a lot of the pros, none of the cons. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Now, once we've taken those nets away and we're drying them out at home in the shed or in the outhouse and they start to stink, uh, I, I don't think there's anything we want more than to uh, get rid of those nasty nifts. Well, the fisheries uh, use a net dip. Uh, normal anglers on the banking, they don't want to be messing about with net dip and then diluting it to the correct dilution rate. So what we've come up with is a product which is ready to use. Uh, it is the same as a professional net dip, what the fish farms, fisheries and everything else yeah. use. Uh, basically you add a little bit to your net bag, slosh your landing net or keep net or mat around in it, leave it 15-20 seconds, it kills all the pathogens which means bacteria as well as viruses. If you kill all the bacteria, bacteria is what causes the smell. So there will be no smell from your nets. Unbelievable, isn't it? It's easily done, but it's it's hard to it's easy to say, but it's hard to put it into practice. Oh, it's easy for us to sit here and smile yeah. about the fact we're not taking any nasty nifts home. But the primary thing there was offering total protection for the carp uh, and any injuries that they might sustain. Correct. Uh, I've got the product here. It comes in a small. 50 mil gel, nice and easy to, it's in a blue colour so you can see it, but it doesn't stain your fingers, it doesn't stain the fish, uh, and it's quite safe for humans. I use this stuff on, if I uh, damage myself, if I cut myself, anything, I really? use this. Okay. I'm that confident in it, I use it just to uh, yeah. make sure That's I don't have any problems. A, a, a squeezy bottle, yeah? It's just a little squeezy bottle with a, with a dropper on the top. It's thick enough so it's in it, so yeah, it I doesn't see drop out, that, I think but it is, it's yeah. thin enough so it gets into all the little nooks and Yeah, cabins. like it, like it. That's a fish care product. Okay. And the ready to use product is a one litre bottle. You basically, same type of dropper in the thing, but yeah. this is like a water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it gets into your nets, gets everything, kills everything, stops all the smell, but it adds another layer of biosecurity. And it's so thin because that's kit. what you want it to do, You've get into got every to nook and thin. cranny. You've got to have it thin, uh, so it gets in all the nets. It doesn't damage your nets, it doesn't damage any of the stitching. Yeah. Uh, they use some of this stuff to uh, protect tapestries in different places. So yeah, it's, it's really good stuff and it, uh, it helps prolong your nets. Well, I, I, I love the idea of, of both of those products, Mick, and, and I think simply looking after the carp itself, uh, you're taking away a carp's need physically uh, to repair itself, so therefore it can concentrate more on eating more and getting bigger, hopefully, uh, and looking in good condition for the next person that wants to catch it. And uh, I don't think you, you can ask for any more than that. And the, the net products are, are cleaning out those nets 
uh, and stopping the transfer of disease from water to water. And uh, as far as carp goes, carp care goes, I don't think it can get any better than that. It can't. There's one other aspect, Mick, I think we ought to cover, and um, personal hygiene. I'm not talking about people uh, cleaning their teeth, and etc. I'm on about protecting yourself from, from the worries uh, of what the wall can give us with cuts in the hands and down your fingernails and everything and we've got a couple of products to take care of that haven't we? We have. Uh, the problem with going fishing, your hands are never clean, uh, you have little cuts and abrasions and there's one problem, there's rats in the same area as you. Rats urine can cause a disease called Val's disease, it's a very very debilitating disease and in extreme cases it can kill you. Uh, so we brought a product out which is a hand rub. Which is proven to kill Val's disease and it kills coronavirus, uh, it kills flu, everything like that. It also kills the majority of pathogens, bacteria, viruses, everything. Uh, it's in a squeezy top and you know the adage, a little goes a long way, it definitely does with this. Wipe it on, rub it around your hands, and for you people who don't like washing up very often, it's got a, a softener in there, so your hands <laughs> remain nice and soft. But it still works if your hands are dirty. All the alcohol-based rubs do not. This still works when your hands are dirty, which is ideal for when you're on the banking, because if you're like me, your hands are never clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what else we get back to your car and, and you don't want to get everything mucky in there? Have we got any way of...? Uh... Right, uh, we can do. What you do is basically use wipes. And they're made of the Good same Good old wet stuff. wipes, made with the same formulation, so they kill virus disease, they kill coronavirus, flu, everything like that. Yeah. Uh, personally, what I use these for is, once I've eaten, I've washed my uh, plates and utensils, I give them a wipe down with this, yeah. put them away, and then ready for the next meal. Uh, it's food safe, so you, you're fine with that. Good. The thing is, if you don't, you don't see how many rats and mice and other infestations are crawling around your bivvy at night. When you're asleep, they could be all over you, you don't know. This puts your mind at rest. Uh, well, I think working in a safe environment, it, it, it means a lot to a lot of people. I, I, you'll, I will never get away from the fact that the carp care, to me, uh, is the most important thing of all. But if I can guarantee that that carp's got back in uh, to the lake as good a condition as I took him out, and uh, I can take, not take any germs away with me, either on my nets or on my hands, then I'm certainly going to be a happy man.